What's good, YouTube? It's Money Man. I'm coming at you on another video. In today's video, we got some insane news. Right? I just had to talk about this because this is just too crazy, bro. I know y'all seen this yesterday. 878 Hard Rock songs just got leaked at one time, bro. This is crazy. They went on leak.cx. 878 Hard Rock songs came out at one time, bro. This is nuts. They say they leaked Hard Rock's whole discography. That is so messed up, but 878 is nasty work. And that's honestly the most leaks I've ever seen at once. I remember Young Nudie. I remember last year, like Young Nudie got leaked like maybe like four to 600, but I've never seen 878 leaks in one day. This is crazy, bro. And it sucks because Hard Rock was actually feeding the fans, right? Hard Rock was active for once, which is crazy, right? Saying Hard Rock is active. You know, he went on this whole hiatus when he blew up in like 2021. And then people were like, where the hell did Hard Rock go? Some people are saying Hard Rock like went to the military. Honestly, I don't know if that's true at this point. I heard that that was false rumors, but we don't know where he was at that point. So I'm just going to say when he went to the military he was gone for a dumb amount of time right we're like where the hell is hard rock and then he came out you know last year came out with one of one the album was great everybody loved it and since one of one he's just been putting his foot on the gas been active been doing shows been dropping music and for him to get leaked 878 songs like bro i feel bad for him because him and his team have been moving so correct him, his manager, Chris Farrell, shout out him. They've been doing great work. Like I said, since one of one dropped, I feel like Hard Rock and his team have just been making the right moves, right? He dropped one of one, great project. Everybody liked it, had a hit song on there, being the song one of one. And then also Promises did pretty good alongside Wave, boosted his monthly. Everything was perfect about the project, right? Everybody liked it. Boom, he went on Lancey's tour in the fall, you know, opened up for Lancey in a couple cities, started, you know, getting used to performing on a like regular basis. Then he went on a European, you know, city run. He did like five to like seven shows out in Europe. He walked for a leaks. He was at the Givenchy show. He was at the Louis Vuitton show. Then he dropped a little EP, the two song EP with uh, four or six and Dirty Spot. That was cool. It was a different type of jerk music. Then he dropped that, you know, pre My Gift to You with the three songs in there. That was cool. And then last week, literally on Friday, we got a whole project from Hard Rock, nine songs. He did the waterfall effect with two of the songs, you know, um, the first two songs, South Atlanta and King Tut gave us a grill snippet, you know, put out two singles a month before, then dropped the whole project. And he's about to do a festival run in the summer. So like Hard Rock has been making the perfect moves, right? If he was, you know, kind of ghost like he was previously when he was like in the military, I would be like, okay, I understand why the leakers, like they just want to hear music. But we've been getting hard rock music, bro. We've been getting good quality hard rock songs. I've I really enjoyed the last project. It was cool. And hard rock has just been doing great things, right? And for him to get 878 songs, bro, that is so messed up, bro. That is so messed up, bro. That's insane. Y'all just ruined his work. Now he really ain't gonna drop for a while. So what I did hear about the 878, it was songs between 2020 and 2023. So it essentially wasn't really any new work. Of course, you know, we found out with the My Gift To You album that I wouldn't even say album, it was more so EP. But the EP he dropped Friday, it was not even like new songs. My boy was like, yo, these are not even like new hard rock songs. They're like 2022 hard rock songs. So, you know, if he's dropping like all those old songs, you know, right now, who knows what out of those 878 would have been a future project, would have made the upcoming album, would have made, you know, something would have potentially dropped, right? 878 songs in the span of three years is crazy, bro. That is so messed up. Like, and what is even the point of leaking 878? Because I know damn well, not everybody is going to sit there and listen to 878 hard rock songs, bro. I cannot do that. Even if it's 878 Cardi songs, I'm not listening to 878 songs. It's just too, like even the 200 loan songs that they leaked. I only listened to like 10. It's just too much. 878, like there's really no point in leaking 878 because I know the leakers are not going to listen to every song, you know? So there's really just no point in leaking 878 other than it just being a huge F you to Hard Rock. It, he basically just like pissed on his grave. Like he was just like, bro, F you, 878. They said he leaked his whole discography. I ain't listened to 878 songs. It's rap for him. I'm praying for bro. Yeah, that was insane, bro. I feel like Hard Rock didn't deserve it. If anything, 
I'm not gonna say any artist deserve it, but if an artist isn't feeding his fans, I wouldn't be so like, yo, I kind of feel for bro. Like, I would be like, okay, he's not dropping songs, the leaker is getting frustrated. I understand why the fans got all these songs, but like, bro, Hard Rock has done everything correct in the past couple of months. Like, if you, if, if this happened like during his hiatus when he was gone, I would be like, okay, I understand why people are getting frustrated. But like, there is nothing to be frustrated in terms of Hard Rock's career. I think they've been moving pretty correct. Everything they've been doing has made sense and it's been working. He's been growing. I went to the show in LA. It was a dope show. I just seen he did Atlanta, sold it out 1,000 people just to see Hard Rock. That clip is crazy. I'll post it right here. <laughs> But like, I feel like Hard Rock is just making the right moves and for him to be done so dirty like this just sucks, bro, it sucks. And I hope this doesn't affect his career. Like he doesn't, you know, go ghost or go into hiding like some other rappers, we're not gonna say. But I feel like Hard Rock's gotta bounce back. He's about to do his last show in New York City, I think like today or tomorrow. And then he's about to do a whole European festival run. So hopefully keeps putting his foot on the gas. And what's next for Hard Rock, I'm probably saying is the big album, right? The EP, that my gift to you, it was an album, it was an EP, right? It was only nine songs and it was like two lead singles. So technically it was only seven new songs and all the songs was like old work, right? It was from like 2022, early 2023, right? So what's next, I think is the big project from Hard Rock, like the next one of one, right? The next major major album 20 plus songs big rollout big things and i hope the album didn't consist of any of those 878 and he's got to completely like scrap the whole entire album because some of that was on the album hopefully not but honestly i don't really see hard rock you know dropping for a while i know he's sitting on stupid amount of songs like as an artist bro you record like three to five songs minimum a day so he's got songs in the vault for sure and he's probably sitting on projects on projects but i'd probably say i could see hard rock's next major project be like more so in the fall right he fed the fans q1 q2 he's about to go on a european festival run and that in summer probably like mid fall we could probably see hard rock's major album but that's everything in the video i just want to speak on this because 878 is nuts and I just feel like Hard Rock didn't really deserve to be done so dirty like this. This is just, this is just so messed up, bro. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's Money May or is it? And I'm out. Thank you guys.